today we're going to be clearing out this rail system. We've got um, butter crunch, lettuce, and I think some arugula that we harvested and it just doesn't seem to be growing back very well. I don't know if we um, cut it down too low or not low enough, but it's growing back really stringy. So we're going to clear all this out and we'll put some newer lettuce seedlings in here and um, I'll show you how I started all of these um, from seeds. So I learned how to make this beautiful, simple yet effective microgreen hydroponic system from Mike Banduzzi's YouTube channel and I'll recreate what he does. This is just a dollar store box plastic container with a lid um, and a piece of um, cloth here. So we'll go over that and it's a great way to grow microgreens which can be used in salads but also it's a little starter uh, garden for your hydroponic systems. So we've got butter crunch lettuce here, we've got some red leaf lettuce here and these are ready to go in larger hydroponic systems like the rail system that we're about to replace. So this will <laughs> be step one. So we're just gonna um, harvest the rest of these and clear them out to make way for our newer plants. The super cool thing about growing hydroponics, water only nutrient solution, you don't have to deal with dirt. You can eat it right off of the plant and the taste is amazing. Let's continue. pretty much just going to discard these um, and save the, the net cups. We reuse those. We've got some spots available in our rail system. If you look down in there, it's still pretty clean. We've already got a couple of uh, seedlings growing here. So we have butter crunch right here. You can see the root system there growing nice and well. and. I believe this is another butter crunch that we have also with the root system growing nice and well. So we're going to continue to fill up our other spaces here. So these are some of our microgreens that we're going to transplant. We'll need to add our freshly washed net cups, rock wool, and clay pebbles. Cool comes in sheets of like 50 or 100. Um, it's just a biodegradable um, material that holds the plants in place when you're putting them in the net cups. Usually when I tear it, it ends up tearing into the one, one of the holes, but it doesn't matter. So I've got um, two pieces of rock wool here. Just try to separate them. All right, great. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put these in some water to soak. It does soak up the water. We have our microgreens here, and so we are going to probably pluck one of these nice and tall ones. This one here looks pretty good. So we're gonna try to be very careful, grabbing it as close to the base of the root as possible, and I'm gently pulling it. All right, well, um, <laughs> the root broke, but I think that it'll still grow for us. What I noticed in here is that the roots are really, really, I don't know how well you can see it, they've really grown into the fabric of this, um, this cloth. So I typically just um, take some scissors and slide it right down the middle there, kind of open it up. 
like so and place the seedling inside. I try to get it down far enough. We want it pointing downward so when the root does start to develop it'll grow straight down and so I just enclose the rock wool around the seedling and place it inside of a net cup. We use the clay pebbles as well because it'll help kind of block the sunlight from getting in because you don't want the sunlight getting into the hydroponic system. It'll cause algae to grow. Here we go. So I do like to try to make sure that the bottom of the net cup is making contact with the water in the rail system. This is not, so I'll just end up adding some more hydroponic um, nutrients to this to bring the water level up to meet the bottom of this. The plant starts, so we are going to gently remove this um, bok choy right here. Remove the soil away. the root system. There we go. Alright, so it's rinsed nice and clean. We'll use the rock wool. Because it's such a small plant, the pool noodles work for larger ones. Which I'll show you, we're going to transplant um, some pepper clippings. So. Slice that open. It's okay if it starts to kind of fall apart a bit. The rock wool, not the plant. And place the plant inside. You've got the root system, just grab your net cup. And then I like to feed the root up oh, there we go. Alright, so is at the bottom. Not sure if you can see. 